But like four bodies together. I mean, even in real life when you're doing it, it can be a little like, it's a lot to wrap your head around, you know? Yeah. What are you into? One of these ripped idiots with no opinions? No, I like someone who's physically very frail and won't stop talking. Luke has all of the bro uh, hobbies. I, I, I yeah. do typically have some bro hobbies. I did CrossFit. Uh, CrossFit's pretty gay, too. I would <laughs> exactly. put that at the top There's of the list. <laughs> you have other ones. I mountain bike. I'm a woodworker. I drive a truck. One would think he's trying too hard. Well, I don't think I'm his type. He's like gay Tom Brady. Do I do anything that's bro <laughs> I'm trying to think on your behalf. I drink whiskey. He drinks whiskey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I drink bro. whiskey. Yeah. I'm an alcoholic. Is that bro <laughs> Uh I uh, bake croissants. That's bro <laughs> Yes. Nick might be the least bro of the three of us. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> not that bro -y. The first time we hung out, he took me to an LA Kings hockey game. I'm a hockey fan. I thought it'd be fun. It was very bros in that. We went to a hockey game, but I remember we talked about Angels in America. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there, you see, we already have a lot in common. I just think there should be a straight bros. <laughs> yeah. So it's about I, time the world about, had a straight yeah. romantic comedy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A straight I mean, version they of gave bros. us one gay one. That's more than enough. <laughs> yeah. I'm not the right person to write a rom com anyway. I was at the proposal. <laughs> the proposal <laughs> instead of Betty White, Leslie Jordan. Leslie Allen Jordan reporting for duty. Remember Cocoon? That's not a rom com. No. But I would like to see like Cocoon, <laughs> but about very old gay people. Oh yeah. Meeting aliens. <laughs> Meeting aliens. Yeah. But yeah. still Steve Gutenberg. Yeah. Who is very underrated. We'll actually eat tonight. Yes. It wasn't the first gay movie I've seen by any means, but the scale at which Love, Simon was made and produced and released, it had a profound effect on me emotionally. To see a story about a gay kid coming out of the closet, playing in a multiplex where like Spider-Man and all these other big franchise movies were playing, do you just realize how many movies like that we haven't gotten over the years? Go big or go home. One of my favorite movies as a kid was The Birdcage. And I remember being like, who is this guy? Who's like Nathan Lane? Who is he? I cannot wait for another movie from this guy. And then there wasn't one. My heart is breaking. It is very strange and sad that there wasn't another giant Nathan Lane vehicle after that because it's one of the great comedic performances ever. And everyone laughs at me. Provincetown is some a place that means a lot to me. You know, it's a very famous gay enclave, as they say, that carries a lot of history in terms of the presence of LGBTQ artists and writers. Tennessee Williams lived in Provincetown. John Waters lives in Provincetown, but also straight people love Provincetown. Actually, Nick also loved Provincetown. It's beautiful, it's shot beautifully in the movie, and I hope people don't swarm Provincetown now <laughs> is the only thing. It's our little secret. What did I learn? <laughs> like four never... bodies together. I mean, even in real life when you're doing it, it can be a little like, it's a lot to wrap your head around, you know? But on camera, like in front of a crew late at night, you're trying to sort of keep that improv -y spirit alive because that's what makes it funny, but your bodies are touching each other. So it is a very unique situation. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs>